There has been a few changes to the VR version of Tomb Raider that is being produced by Team Beef. Now we have done a couple of other videos on this subject on the channel, but today we're going to feature what has been updated. Firstly, you will notice that Tomb Raider VR is only playable in the original version of Tomb Raider 1. So you'll either need an original copy of the game or the VR can use the original game files included in the remaster. In the first game, Lara had a bun hairstyle instead of a braid. Well, in this update of Tomb Raider VR, Lara now has that braid in the original style graphics with physics. However, in my opinion, it still looks a little bit odd because it seems to be tacked on to the end of the original bun. Of course though, this port is still in development, so this could be changed in later updates to make the hairstyle a little bit more seamless. We covered the camera in the last update video where you can switch between first person and the original third person. Well, another camera angle has been added and it is being dubbed toy mode. This is where you can see the level in sort of a block view, similar to how you would view it in a level editor. But you're also able to still play the game in this mode. This toy mode view isn't quite top down, but it isn't quite a 2D platforming view either. Another thing that has been added are dynamic shadows within the VR port. This means that Lara just doesn't have a circular shadow below her feet we will have an actual shadow that will project onto the floor and the walls of the room you're in. And we can see an example of this as shown by at Team Beef VR on X with Lara running around near the exit door of St. Francis Folly. Now, to me, while the shadow does get bigger and smaller, depending on how close you are to the light source, it still looks a little bit awkward at times. But as mentioned, this is still an early build and not the fully released version. So there's still plenty of time to tweak this and improve it. But again, it's another thing that's a nice to see. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let me know if this is something that you would like to try out. You can get early access to this and any other version of this port or any other ports for that matter that Team Beef are working on via their Patreon which I will leave a link to in the video description as well as in a pinned comment. This port will be released on SideQuest once it is out of early access. <laughs>